So I'm talking this in con with full confidence that uh, the family is aware that I'm talking to you. So he came with some chest pain. When you come, when you come in hospital with chest pain, our first concern is whether it's anything to do with the heart. And our job is to make sure that you don't have, uh, as you may well be aware of any adult, possibility of a heart attack. And that's why we've taken him in. He is uh, going through various investigations, blood tests, ECGs, all the things we do to find out if there's any danger. Right now he's stable, the pain is less, blood pressure is okay, and we are still carrying on the investigations. From your preliminary assessment, are you in a position to tell us what you suspect might have caused this? Oh, well, no, we, it's, it's diff every adult over the age of 45, 50 can get heart trouble, especially if you have high blood pressure or diabetes um, or family history, you can get those problems. Uh, so if you are over 50, uh, you have issues of blood pressure, you have issues of diabetes, a uh, bit, bit of excess weight sometimes, you can get some heart attack. That's why we tell people all the time to uh, lifestyle changes. Uh, he doesn't smoke, which is lucky, uh, but it's which is also a risk factor. Hmm. Is he in a stable condition and how are you yes, treating? I can say he's quite stable. He's on the, there are the routines that we do, every doctor knows the type of things we do when somebody is suspected of some heart trouble. There are some standards of blood tests, ECGs, echoes that we do, and some standard medications of aspirin and cholesterol medicine that we give, as we observe. And, yeah. Lachari, from where you, you sit, um, will he spend the night here? Um, is he likely to spend the night or more, more days in this facility? If you come with chest pain in any hospital in this country or in the world, you, you will be held captive for at least 24, 72 hours to rule out serious issues. I'm sure you guys read a lot. Stress can cause heart problems, we know that, and, and the, the, the DP is definitely a lot of stress. I'm sure you've heard about something called Takosubo syndrome, the broken heart syndrome, all those things that can cause severe heart problems. So all those are possibilities. So I would say if you come in that type of uh, situation, you need to be observed for about 24 I mean, for eight to seventy-two hours. Yeah. Uh, Doctor, recovery may may vary from patient to patient, but perhaps uh, you've had experience and you've handled such cases before. Um, do you foresee him being admitted for a while, or how are you treating this? At at least maybe four to eight to seventy-two hours, mm, minimum. Yeah. Mm. So, you know, for us, we always play on the safe side. You don't want to rush and make a mistake. You want to make sure that when you are done, you have done and you are sure that somebody is safe. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, thank you, Doctor. Mm. Thank you. Yeah. Sorry, we, sorry, we, sorry, we kept you waiting because we were busy inside there, but uh, I'm glad to meet you. Okay. Yeah. So, are we likely to see them coming out shortly? Okay. Now that yeah. they are in a stable condition, in a stable condition? No, I said, he, I, I think we have to keep him at least 48, 72 hours to make sure that uh, he is safe. Yeah. Yeah.